Hello guys and welcome back. I want to begin this video with a question. Is there such a thing as the perfect boot? I would argue that there is, but that perfect really depends on the person. For example, my needs are much different than your needs. And everybody who's watching this has much different lifestyles and activities that they participate in throughout the day. So for me, it can be uh, chasing my three-year-old around the playground. It could be riding my motorcycle. It could be working out in the garage. It could be going to the ball. Who the heck knows? It's a lot of different things. And different things require different footwear. So if I'm going to go on an impromptu hike, well, that kind of needs some special footwear compared to something I was going out to dinner in. So with that in mind, the perfect boot for me is something that has plenty of traction, something that won't wince at a little bit of actual work, but also looks cool and can be dressed up with a nice pair of jeans. That's basically the perfect boot outside of work boots, which is on like one end of the spectrum and dress boots on the other end of the spectrum. And I think that I finally found that pair of boots. These are the NYX Urban Logger, and they're a very limited edition. I think they're only going to be available through September. They're giving this a shot. This is sort of a, a test run for these. But the idea is that they took a dressed-up upper and combined it with their work boot lower. So you have things like that heavy-duty Vibram V100 lug sole. You have a Woodsman slash logger heel. Uh, you have all the brass hardware. You have the five to six ounce Horween waxed flesh. It's a six inch high boot with brass hardware, of course, made in the USA. This is a tough boot. And I have the NYX Builder Pros. As a matter of fact, almost every day I find myself putting on my NYX Builder Pros to go to work. So I know what their heavy duty work boots are like. They are absolutely heavy duty and they do not back down from anything. They're heavy, though, and they're, you know, cumbersome. I mean, these are 10-inch tall work boots, but it's nice to have something that has those qualities but still looks cool dressed up and is just a little bit more of a refined silhouette. That's exactly what these are. So, of course, you know, I sent in my fit sheet for my Builder Pros. They had all that stuff on file and were able to make these to my foot. Now, if you remember from my Builder Pro video, there was actually quite a bit of a break-in period for those. And they suggested, you know, wearing them for half the day, then trying to wear them for three quarters of the day and so on and so forth. I found that to be the case and it took a little while for them to break in. But now, nearly a year later, they've become extremely comfortable. I can wear them all day for a 12-hour shift without a problem. These are a little bit different. I haven't noticed any break-in yet. So, I mean, this video was taken when I first unboxed them, but I have had a chance to wear them for a little bit. And uh, they, they fit perfectly as far as the width and the length of my foot. I do notice a little bit of stiffness in that upper, the shaft portion, which of course is natural until that breaks in and wears. It's going to be a little bit stiff and it's going to require a little bit of a break in. But overall, I can put them on and stand and work for the whole day without an issue. A little bit of discomfort, like I said, in the upper part until that leather wears in a little bit. But much different than their really rough and tough work boots, which are far more substantial. Then again, look at the sole of this thing. They still use all of that leather that they use in their hardcore work boots and, uh, you know, like the lug sole and all that stuff, which is why they're perfect for a little bit of work during the day or uh, riding in, uh, my motorcycle, putting my feet down on a wet surface if need be and not slipping all over the place or chasing after a three-year-old on the playground. They can take all of that, which I really appreciate. Now, one of the coolest parts about this boot is that Horween waxed flesh. The interesting thing about this leather is that it's sort of a dressy leather in a way. It has a beautiful sheen to it, but a nice texture. And basically what it is is waxed rough out. And uh, that's what gives it that look. But it does almost look like a dress boot in a way because it has that nice shine to it. But again, that texture keeps it nice and rugged. I can't wait to see how they break in because, after, you know, as time goes on, it's going to rough up a little bit, you know, on the toe and areas where it creases. It's just going to look better from, from my perspective. I love the way that kind of thing looks. A nice broken in boot is just one of the most beautiful things in the world. Something else that I really like that they did here is they combined the speed hooks with eyelets. And they did it in a really interesting way. So I have a pair of White's Bounty Hunters, which I love, but they have eyelets all the way up. What NYX did is they put eyelets at the bottom, then a couple of speed hooks, and then an eyelet at the top. And since speed hooks aren't exactly the most secure method of securing your uh, lace, 
what you could do is then you you put them through the speed hooks, and if you're going to work all day and you just can't have them untying on you, you then put them through the upper eyelets and tie them. So it's a secure way, but it also makes them easier to take off at the end of the day. You don't have to sit down and unlace your boots, especially if you're in a hurry. Um, I, I really appreciate that. And it's a small thing, but you do it twice a day or, or however many times you put on your boots, and it does add up. It makes a difference, and I'm really, really glad that they kept those here. These are some of the best speed hooks that I've ever used, by the way. The ones in the Iron Rangers, I've bent. Uh, if you catch, you catch them on the edge of a ladder or something like that, they will bend out of shape. You can bend them back. But the ones from NYX are, are surprisingly robust. As a matter of fact, I think you'd, you'd probably hang up your foot and you wouldn't realize that you're not touching the ground. They would support your, your weight entirely. So I really like the combination of speed hooks and eyelets on this. The NYX Urban Logger can be yours for $485. And if you go and wince at that price, let me tell you that right off the bat, based on my experience with my other NYX boots, these are substantially better built built than a Red Wing boot. They're also built here in the USA, uh, but but a lot of boot for the money. That's that's absolutely sure. Pick up one of these boots and pick up your favorite Red Wing boots, and there is absolutely no contest. I wish that you could feel this thing because when you hold it and you kind of look at it and you turn it over in your hands, you can just feel the the robust build quality of these things. They, they really do feel bomb proof. I've put my Builder Pros through hell and they have never, ever let me down. I have no doubt that these will be exactly the same way. For my money, it's worth the extra 100 bucks or $150 over a pair of Red Wings. So if you want one, go and get them now because I think they're only available through the end of September. But hopefully, if they catch on, NYX will keep making them. They're an excellent boot. And I'd love to see them in some other colorways. Imagine like a rough out or even like a cool wax suede. Come on, that would be awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is kind of a different video for me with the unboxing and everything, but I really appreciate you sticking with me and watching and uh, all your support. Thank you again, and I will catch you next time.